But Juwan is also, Juwan Winfrey, my client who plays for the Broncos, he's coming on to talk to us as well. So we definitely won't get to all the film evals. Once he comes on, I'm going to stop everything and just rock with him. But look forward to that. He, uh, he'll spend some time with us. So any questions you guys have for Juwan, start to think about him. Uh, we had a couple questions. Um, Logan asked, do you recommend ladder work to help with your feet? Uh, listen, I think ladder work makes you a quicker athlete. It does not translate to specific receiver stuff. Anyone who's telling you they're doing a receiver drill in a ladder, I think those drills are bullshit. But just like jumping rope helps make you quicker, so does a speed ladder. So to me, like speed ladder is just a little bit more functional way of jumping rope. Same shit to me. So does it make you quicker? Sure. Does it really help you become a better receiver? I, I don't think so. Um, all right, let's get this in film. Juwan says he's coming on in three minutes. So, all right, Magnus, I'm going to start with you because you're one of the newer guys. Good. Pretty good, Magnus. Uh, Joe Perk says, how long should new players uh, spend on the program before and getting used to the drills before sending it in? Whenever you're comfortable, bro. I don't want you to go too long on it before you send it in because I want you to develop bad habits, but get a little bit of a feel for it. All right, so Magnus, you got to slam the second foot in the ground more. Watch it. Let's just play at full speed. Watch how light the second foot is. So you're not really stopping yourself with that second foot. Really stop yourself with the second foot. Really slam that in the ground and see how wide, like this, this foot's coming outside your framework. We don't want that. We want everything. No, you don't want. All right, my fault. Uh, real quick. All right, so so Magnus, you see this? All right, just a little bit more violent that second step, and don't reach. Like I don't want this so far outside your framework. See, your eyes are coming up a little bit early. Like everything's got to be aligned, okay? And 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 again. Like, there's a reason, guys, by the way, just understand this. I don't know if guys get sick of seeing this or what. I have plenty of op- uh, plenty of other clips I can show you on the False Accelerate. I choose to only show you this one because I want just the right thing to be pounded in your head. The images that you guys are looking at, okay? But again, so, Magnus, look at his third foot. See how that third foot's right underneath him? It's not reaching. It's not outside his freeze. Right? So, snap down. Look how violent. Snap one, two, all right? Just, again, so just, Magnus, just try to emulate this body language. Knee yourself in the chin, but everything's right underneath you. Okay, I like I like your initial trigger step. I think this is pretty good. I just need more power off this second step, and then that get that step down right in front of you. Don't reach Don't reach so much with it, okay? And now this next one, I need you. I need you, this left foot in the ground first. I need to go one, two again, all right? So not, don't reach with your right foot here. Give me that left foot down first. So it's like a drop pop almost. So it's one, two, right? See how you, you got three steps here? You have to turn this second step. That's what we're working on this next cone. Turn this inside step. So go left, right, right there, and then push off. Don't just go one foot. That one's better. You dug that second foot in the ground a little bit more. You stop yourself a little more suddenly. Now let's get that third foot right in front of you. Right on top of you and push off. That one's much better. Just fix the second cone. Hopefully, Magnus, you understand what I'm saying with the second cone? If not, if you don't know what I mean with the second cone, I'll, I'll pull up an example. I might as well just pull up an example real quick. Um, man, I've been looking at all these old training clips. So watch Juwan. Watch Juwan. Come on. Let me. All right. Watch Juwan. Snap one, two. Poor connection. Snap one, two. See how that third foot's in front of him? Every. Every step is powerful. Now watch, Magnus, that one, two, working on those second two steps. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we're moving on. All right, like I said, if I don't get to you, I will answer you via email. All right, the duck walk. That's good. That's great. It's fantastic. Fan fucking tactic. Someone was asking me in the, in the other one about shin angle. Look at that shin angle. Get, maybe get a little bit wider base, Magnus. Okay, but this is great. Good hips. Good hips. Good shit right there. That's good, good duck walk, good hips. All right, all right, Juwan's here. So we'll get on with Wani, and then we'll come back to some of this film evaluation stuff. Good, bro. Chilling, man. Um, how are you? Good, bro. Try yeah. some new shit today. What did you do today? I was boxing. Oh, yeah, you were telling me you were trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, it was lit. That Different. should help? I mean, it's just more for like an endurance-type workout. Yeah, right. But someone cool. uh 
I was listening to Allen Robinson's live today, and I talk about this a lot, but he was talking about how he, like, strategically at the line of scrimmage, like, you know, he thinks of himself like a boxer, you know, setting it up could, the next It punch. could help that way, too. That was my first time. It yeah. Could help that way. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, you're always setting up that knockout punch. You're always, like, protecting one thing, and this shit's crazy. Um, so, anyway, a li little different for you than the normal live. This is the VIP, the VIP guys, so all the, like, you know, kind of the private members who have, who have joined the family. So, I think it's, it's a little different situation than normal where it's asking blanket stuff like guys if you got questions just just you know leave questions for Juwan. this will be a quick combo though i'm not gonna keep him too long but you know kind of cool to talk to these guys versus just the whole public um so talk to people i guess a little bit just give them some inspiration or some tools like what have you been doing to stay right during all this all this bs um man that's a tough time but uh luckily i've been blessed with like connections and just been able to meet different people and just different opportunities to work out. So I've been so far, I've just been uh, lifting, uh, and trying to make the most out of the, out of the environment, you know, running on the yeah. track, running hikes, running hills, and just trying to find ways to stay active, uh, challenge my body in different ways that I don't get the opportunity to all the time. So, and I found the, uh, I got added some new ways, added some new things to my regimen because of this. Such as like the, the incline, Manitou incline, which is like 2,800 stairs up the incline up the mountain. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing that every week, you know, while the weather's good. It just snowed on us yesterday, but while the weather's good, I try to get there at least at least once a week. Push my limits. Yeah, I, I saw that. There, there was snow out there. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Ho hopefully by the time I get out there, all that shit is done. It should be. It's supposed to be sick. Yeah. This week. That's good. <laughs> um, someone asked, uh, what's the biggest thing you learned from going Juco? <laughs> uh, never take things for granted, man. Definitely never take nothing for granted. Nothing for granted. You know, I had it all at D1. The facilities, the resources, and then you go to Juco. And it's very quite limited. I mean, they still willing to help you. And they still, you know, you got to make the, you just got to make the best of it. But you, you, you can't take it for granted when you're at that next level. Because yeah, goes is back against the wall. So I know you, you, you're your own. You control your own destiny at that point. I just had uh, this this kid Kirk Merritt on the regular channel. He was mm -hmm. at Oregon, went to Texas A&M, got kicked out for some shit. Had to go to JUCO and then ended up at Arkansas State. He's gonna get drafted this year. Oh yeah, and, and he he pretty much had the same. Uh, he pretty much had the same thing to say. Never take anything for granted. You have all the support, all the facilities, all the food, and then you get to JUCO and you just by yourself, yo, just there with your thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. Um, talk about, uh, you know, I know the answer to this, but talk to the people. Like, so now you're going on year two of the NFL. Like, what have you learned the most? What was the biggest kind of realization for you uh, having, you know, year one of the NFL? Like, like what, what was the biggest lesson you felt like you learned? Um... The biggest thing for me was kind of just adjusting how to be how to be a pro, you know, just the uh, the right steps to take, and then just adjusting to that schedule and adjusting to, to what's what's needed and required for me because it's no longer it's no longer uh, just a sport that you you're playing now it's, it's your job. This is how you provide for your family. This is how you this is how you stay. This is how you stay around. And um, you know, I, I just learned that you got to take things a little bit more serious. Um, I have to go into this season. I, I'm trying to be in way more, way better shape because they want you to be able to run all day. Um, what What do you feel like it means to be a pro? If you had to define it after one year, like like if you had to tell an incoming discipline, rookie. discipline, discipline. You got you got to learn to stay away from distractions. You know things that are not going to help you, um, and you just need to find ways, find ways to keep yourself active and keep your, yourself mentally sharp for 17 weeks straight. Not including camp. That's not even yep. including camp and OCAs. This is just yep. a full season. Seven, and we have 17 games this year. So it's just coming there every day, early in meetings, um, ready to work. And just the same mentality, consistency. Consistency through the whole year. And, and, that's, what separates, that's what separates the average people from the elite. They're the ones who do it consistently. And, no, and I think consistency is the absolute key word. But it's also crazy something I'm interested. I'm I'm looking forward to for you. Like people, people don't realize you just went through without an off season too. Like you went right from college football, training for the draft, training for the season, and then football. Like, like talk about consistency. You were really going for a full year straight. Like you're LeBron playing in the Olympics type shit. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. You know, so, so now hopefully it'll be fresher. Your mind will be fresher. Like just having kind of that separation in the off season. Definitely. 
Um, one dude asked my guy Logan. He said, "What's it like playing with Cortland Sutton?" I feel like he's an underrated receiver in the NFL. <laughs> nah, definitely, Cortland. Um, he's making his name. He's making a huge name for himself. So I don't really. Uh, I don't know if I'd say he's underrated because he made it to the Pro Bowl. So he, he's starting. He's starting to get what he deserves. So I feel he's just starting. So it's, it's been cool playing with him. He's a baller. Yeah. Anything? Any like big lessons you've learned from him, or anything? Anything you've taken from him in, in the first year? Um. It's cool just seeing him hit his speed off the ball. You know, every route looks like a go route with him. Yep. You know, he, he's a big body. And, you know, it's, it's hard to say any, if, he, if he shows and he tells in his route. You know, he has a – he keeps a, a nice vertical lean. And he's just pushing the DB, attacking toes. So, definitely, I like that from Corbin. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a great thing to have, to have picked up on. Uh, so, take someone through this. So, take me through, like, your normal – let's say – Minus coronavirus, it's a normal week where me and you are training together. You know, we're together, but also you got everything else going on. Take someone through, like, what your normal day is, what your normal week is like as far as what the, the workload is like. Okay. Uh, during the normal time, uh, I wake up. So before corona was going on, uh, the, the Broncos facility, they offer all their players um, just the option to work out there if they don't, you know, want to work out with any other trainers and such so that's what I was doing my off season training for the most part. I wake up, go there, eat breakfast there, probably start around maybe eight o'clock. I do prehab some prehab stuff, maybe like three times a week. I'm in there, yeah, probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday or whenever I choose. Three times a week doing um just extra groin and hand work. After that I hit the weight room. Um then I was after the weight room, I'll do uh, conditioning later in the day with some – probably do conditioning with field work probably three times a week as well as yeah. catching. I try to catch – the. I try to get catches in you know, every day of the week. So that's basically it. Every day I'm waking up – waking up. I got a rice bucket in my room. So at least – at least three to five days of the week, I try to at least get rice bucket in every day. Yeah, hundred, 100 reps of that a day, and then start my day. Try to do yoga. Also try to do yoga. Uh, at least what do you times. what do you, what are your tips on? Yeah, that's what I was getting at. What are your tips on recovery? Like, what are some of the things you've done to to? Because that that's what you realize. You don't realize it as a young kid, but it's not about how much you lift or how fast you run. It's like, yo, can I keep my body fresh and healthy like for fucking seventeen games? Also, like, so so what have you done with that? Yeah, I was huge for me. That was huge for me learning that. I've been through a huge process through my career of just learning how to how to recover well. And um, with Corona, with this Corona situation going on, I don't have the the same luxury of going to these recovery places. So I have ice cups. This is actually what I'm doing right now. Uh, ice cup and ice in my knee. But a little heavy heavy leg day yesterday. So I do this. Epsom salts are huge. Epsom salt baths. Are huge. I do those a lot, and um, or if I'm really hurting, I'll take an ice lap, like go pick up bags of ice, do that, and then also in terms of the other aspects, try to roll out every day, roll yep. out, and stretch every night. Yep. I'll take five minutes at least stretching before you go to sleep, and then I, when I wake up, I try to get some in as well. And then you'll do like out. you'll do yoga, you'll do cryotherapy, you'll do like massages. Like how many times a week you usually do some of that stuff? Oh, okay, that that stuff was a. Uh, before Corona, I was getting massages. Um, I was getting massages once a week. Once, once a week, I was getting massages, and then cryotherapy. I'll do that. I probably get in the tubs every day after I work out, cold tub. Yeah, for like ten minutes. And cryotherapy after heavy days, maybe like once or twice a week. Work, work. Um. What do you so what you know again I know this but some some people were asking what what's the biggest thing you're you're trying to improve on going into year 2 and this can be more personal like just something you do want Winfrey to work on or maybe something that like you know I got to make this adjustment because it's year 2 in the NFL like what's your focus in the offseason mm, I'm trying to I want to be more right. dominant and more disciplined as a, a person and player more dominant and more and more disciplined just to make sure I, I, I want to be disciciplined and, and and making sure I'm staying sharp in all the areas, mentally and physically, throughout the whole season. Um, you know, doing all that, all all is possible, doing all possible just to just to maintain, you know, my body and, and just to be able to maintain my ability on the field. Because if you don't work at it, it's just gonna slip away. 
Uh, and then what I say, I say discipline and dominant. Not dominant. Yeah, and just being more dominant in the field. You know, taking my space, taking my space, showing how to jerk you out there. Not saying that I don't, but just every play, making sure right. you're proving yourself on every play, playing with the sort of urgency like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then on top of like our, our big focus technique wise, we talk about press releases, hand combat. Oh yeah, that, checking yeah. deep balls. But I yeah. like I like that answer. More more discipline and more dominant. Yeah. That all starts like mentally. What changes have you made? You know, with with the way you're talking, you're like if you're gonna be more disciplined, you got to talk to yourself more disciplined. You got to have be a little more top of, of your mental game. Like, how has maybe your self talk changed? You know, to try and instigate more discipline. Um, you know, I just learned about uh. I learned with one, uh, actually, a mental coach. And I was working with a mental coach after the season for a little bit. And um, just the, the effect of creating an alter ego in your mind, you know, creating somebody different for yourself when you're on the field and then you're off the field, you know, somewhere that you're able to, <clears throat> on the field, being able to, to lock in. Just like how Kobe had huh. Mamba, Mamba mentality. Yeah. You know, on, the, on the court, he was a different person. And myself, that's, that's the type of attitude I'm trying to create for myself. And that's why I kind of changed. It's like, Thinking of myself different when I'm out there and just doing different when I'm out there. Yeah, right. So I think that's definitely helpful. That's interesting that that alternate mental or um, personality. Like I'm a totally different person when I'm a coach than I am. Yeah, definitely. You know, as a normal person. Uh, all right, last question I'm gonna leave you with. My guy Graham says, "How important is sleep as an athlete?" I see some people <laughs> saying you need lots of sleep. Others saying you got to sacrifice sleep to be better. Man, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, 100 percent honest with you. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not great with my sleep. I don't get as much sleep as I should. I mean, I'm getting at least. Sleep is real important. It's real. You need quality sleep so you can recover well. And uh, I definitely feel I have to do a better job of that this year. Just making sure I'm trying to be. Like I go to sleep. Maybe 11 o'clock. I, I want to be at least in bed by like 10 9. Right. Nine, ten. Just, just you do be bullshit with the sleep sometimes. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you, be, you be doing shit. It's tough. But yeah. sleep, sleep is key, man. Yeah, I, it is. It's key. Man, it's key even when you're not, like, your job isn't to be an athlete anymore. Like, you yeah. be as a businessman, as an adult. Like, oh, it's, my, it's my Tuesday, Tuesday bean talks. Sense, yeah, my Tuesday bean talks are better after a full night of sleep than they are when I'm tired. Like, anything exactly. you do. You know what I mean? Like, that shit is everything, bro. And they got all these studies talking about how, like, you know, it's worse than, like, doing drugs and doing other, like, lack of sleep, like, will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, all right, anything else you want to leave the people with? So do a little interview. Start making some smoothies, man. I just started getting on this wave. Talk about that. Uh, Waste that feels good in the morning. I, I do, like, I buy baby spinach and kale, some ginger, frozen fruits. Um, some almond milk, orange juice, and um, spinach, ginger, fruit, almond milk, and yogurt. It's a nice Greek yogurt. So, and I put together a nice little. Nice get them food. nutrients, boy. Mm hmm. Shit's important. By the way, I saw you on uh, on J Rob's, the ball talk with J Rob, and, and you were telling yeah. the story about how we met. I, I forgot. I hadn't thought about that in a minute, bro. You said what? I said, I, I was listening. He asked you what it was like working with me and uh, on J-Rob shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then you yeah, told the story yeah. about how we met. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. I forgot that. Thanks, bro. Fucking, yeah. for guys who don't know, we literally, we met from me doing a teach tape on Juwan, a route Juwan ran in college. I had no idea who Juwan was. Knew nothing about you. And then fucking that shit blew up on Twitter. And I was like, yo, let's do a podcast. And then the rest was history, bro. It's crazy. All right, bro. Three years later, almost. Three years later, man. Wow. Big job. And hopefully I'll see you in 11 days, boy. It's coming right around the sure. corner. What day? 25th. 25th? All right, bet. Yeah. Bye, right, Brody. So uh, I'll see you. I'll, I'll text you in like 40 minutes. We'll watch film. All right, bro. All right. Appreciate you. I don't know if you guys still see me. Is this thing ending or what? Um. Anyway, whenever this ends, for my VIP guys, we'll get back to the film study. Uh, Magnus, you're done. Um.
do I charge for training? Yes, I do charge for training. Um, different situations with the NFL guys, uh, like Juwan, we have a totally different arrangement than with like high school, college clients. They pay less, but don't get as detailed training. But, uh, yes, I do trade. I do train or pay for training. Yeah. Anyway. Is she going to leave or what? Is Juwan still up there? I should still have stream for me. Appreciate you, Spence. Yeah, I might end this shit and come right back on. Uh, Andrew Cochran, are you here? You're up next. Uh, Zach is on. He's great. All right, so he's not on there. So I, so all right, then let's just go. My shit still shows half screen. Andrew Cochran, are you here? If you, oh yeah, you are here. All right, so you're on. All right, we're going with you. All right, Andrew's a new guy. Is raining right here? All right, so this first step needs to be in front of you more, and like I don't see any chest, knee to chest. All right, I need more hips. Seek your hips more, and really slam that in the ground. Like it's way that that first step is way too light. Like you got to really stop yourself. All right, this isn't terrible though, but there's more hips, more sink. Like slam those feet in the ground. One, two, three, and you got to turn inside more. Turn over this left foot more. So snap and I'm square, turn on that second foot, and then I can burst out of that. All right? Just more violent, more in intentional. That's not bad, bro. You're going to get it. It's going to be a quick learning process for you. All right, now as we're building up, here's the arrow drill. Same shit. Well, this is a great example for all you guys, right? See how, he's not, see how you're not turning? See how you're still square right here? You're still square? Now watch. Now this hip, you can't get it open. See how, like, you're not – your hips aren't open, so you're just taking these steps in place. See how it takes you two steps right here? You're just taking – you're, like, in place. You're not going anywhere. You're popping straight up. You got to open these hips, right? Snap one. You got to open your hip on that second step so I can run out of this. Watch Duan. See how he's turning? He's opened this hip. Watch him. Turn in the direction you want to go so we can open that hip right up. You're still square here. See how he's turning that second foot? And now he's angled to run right at this cone and run out of that break. All right, so that's uh, the arrow drill. All right, we talked about this one. Same shit. So I could, I could already tell. Just before this first cone, like you gotta stop yourself, right? Like, see how much, see how much ground you're getting after this cone. Like, you're not stopping yourself. Like, I need you to really fucking sink and stop yourself. Like, your life depended on it. Like, like if you don't fucking stop yourself right at this cone, you know, fucking the most terrible tragedy you could ever think of is gonna happen. Like, like you fucking, your life depends on it. Slam those feet in the ground. Slam your chest over your toes. Slam your hips to the ground and stop yourself. All right, just more urgency. Your, your mechanics with your footwork, Andrew, is not bad. You just got to, like, really slam those feet in the ground. Really slam those feet in the ground. And then, see what I'm saying? Like, you got all this momentum. And you got to get out. Why are you still rolling over this shit? You know what I mean? Like, really, really stop yourself. You're, you're, to be honest, bro, for your second week, you're not far off. In, in three weeks, you're going you're gonna to have this. But stop yourself and turn in the direction you want to go. All right, if you got more questions, Andrew, DM me. We're moving on, my friend. Uh, hey, uh... Who else is here? All right. Anyway, we're going to go right down the list in alphabetical order. Fryburger, are you here? Fryburger is here. So here we go. All right, Ryan. By the way, if you guys can continue to try to – some of you guys are struggling, but try to send these to me in one file. It makes it a lot easier. One email. It doesn't have to be one file, one email. But if it doesn't always work, it doesn't always work. I'll adjust. All right, you're just still reaching a bit. I can tell right from the first rep. You got me? Yeah, T. Mur I, uh, T. Murphy, I am probably – so, since T. Murphy, since you are, you know, the super VIP level, a little higher than most of these guys, I'm probably going to get back to you either via FaceTime or uh, or just via email because I'll give you some more detailed responses. But you should still watch all this shit. All right, so here you're reaching a little bit, Ryan. Okay, and now because of that, look how much it's taking your body to kind of gather over that step. Because you're reaching so much, 
instead of stopping yourself, you're just rolling out off this step. So watch it, right? Because you're reaching so much, you're not stopping yourself with that first step. You're just rolling over it. Whereas if you don't reach, if instead of reaching out, you snap down. So right here, like that's not a bad position to be in. But now instead of, like right here, but now instead of continuing to reach out, snap that shit down and stop yourself. Hips to the ground. Your hips are shooting out. I need your hips to shoot down. See how your hips are never lowering? I never see your hips lower. They stay at the same level the whole time. You see this? Hips are pretty much at the same level the whole time. See how those hips are coming down a little bit more? See how he's slamming down? See how he's slamming down over that foot and not like, see how he's not still rolling over it? He's really slamming that down, right? That's what I need you to get with is where are you directing your force? Like you're not slamming it down. You're slamming it out. Does that make sense, guys? That way you're going to roll over this. Just slam that shit down, one, two, and get out. But honestly, the second two steps are really fucking good. Like even though this trigger step isn't great, you still get out of it. You know, like, even, like you're reaching, but you still get out. Don't reach. Slam that shit down. Take, I'd rather you take choppy steps than reach almost. You know what I mean? Because look at this, right? Like you've given it away. So now as you're reaching, I know that you're not running by me. I know you're stopping. And it's taking you all this time to get in and out. Like, see how they kind of slow up, like that little pause? Slam that shit down. All right? Your, 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 your legs are strong and powerful and shit. It's just where are you directing your force? And hopefully this clip with Juwan helps. Obviously, you know, if you really want to watch the best hip example, because, again, even though we watch this over and over, I think it, when you look at the specific thing, it helps. Watch his hips. Watch his hips go down. See those hips go down? That's what I mean by hips to the ground. Hips are up here. Now they're down there. That's hips down to the ground. Right. And watch how see how he's he's like, that's a similar position you were in, Ryan. But now he he's not continuing to reach out. Now he's slamming down on over it. Hopefully that makes sense. Right. You're kind of still reaching out and rolling over this. He's slamming down. Hopefully that makes sense, my boy. Yeah. This is money. I, I haven't seen a lot of these fucking... A lot of you guys are getting bored with this fucking pressure step progression. I haven't seen a lot of these sent in lately. Everyone's trying to give with all the fucking fancy shit. How do I stop in three steps? Don't get bored of this shit, guys. 99% of routes are done with this right here, with this pressure step progression, this pressure step. Most routes are not getting out in three. Most of them are this shit. So make sure this is sound. All right, really stop yourself. Like, fuck this fucking extra little gather step. You're too good for this shit. Stop that shit. You don't need it. Just fucking stop being okay with it. The only reason you're gathering right here, Ryan, is because you've told yourself, oh, it's okay. I'll get to, like, fuck that. Just fucking don't let it happen because you're good enough to not let it happen. Don't let this happen. Stick it. Just fucking stick it. Have better body control and stick that shit. Good job attacking it. Attack. Boom. Attack. You're reaching a little bit on this first one, I would say. So I like this. You know, we're still running into this. That's not bad. You're getting a little bit wider right there. But now you clean it up right there, right there, right there. Okay, two things I'll say. I don't have it filmed yet. Two things I'll say on this pressure step progression. All right, so so Graham, I mean, uh, Graham, Ryan. See how you end up going so vertical? So you're here. You're going pretty horizontal here, right? Good angles, good like 45-degree angles. And watch, you're kind of leaping for this one as well. Don't, don't jump for it. See how you're jumping for it? That's your biggest problem right now is you're leaving your feet for it. Just slam it down. Okay. But watch how you get skinnier and skinnier with your angles. Skinny, skinny, skinny. Like, I want you guys still, you can see my mouse, right? I still want you guys to go 45 degree angles. Like, the sharper angles you come out of this, the more challenging it's going to be. It's easy. It's easy just to run straight and have a sound pressure step, but it's harder when you got to break at a 45 or break the shit friendly. Okay? So keep, just keep challenging yourself to come at sharper angles. All right, here's the next progression to this, guys. Stop yourself. So you're taking three steps in between, right? One, two, stick. One, two, stick, right? Everyone there? Now, if you really want to take this to the next level, take five steps in between and now really hit it. One, two, three, four, five, stick it. One, two, three, four, five, stick it. That's the progression I'm going with the guys I'm training now. That's where we've taken that next, okay, is, is five steps in between because now you've got to hit that shit full speed. You really see what that's like. Fucking hit that shit. All right, but Ryan, this is good. Hopefully those coaching points make sense. If not, leave some shit in the comments right now. Um, hopefully all that shit makes sense. You look good, less reaching, more slamming down underneath you. All right, Graham, you're up next. She sent a bunch of videos. We'll fly through these. Nice little high def camera right here. Look at this fucking landscape. It looks like National Geographic. 
you got the little the 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 foreground is clear the background is blurry this is fucking beautiful hopefully the drill looks just as good what the fuck is going on here this is your one step speed cut i don't know what to do with this bro graham you guys send me something so i can see your feet and see the whole body i don't know i can't i can't see anything from this but this was a good nature shot I don't know. If that was your one-step speed cut, I got to see it from a much more zoomed-out angle. Uh, all right. All right. So you ready, Graham? See how you're leaning a little bit already? See how you're leaning right here. So you start to lean. First of all, I don't need any head. I don't need any fucking little – I don't need your head going opposite. Just I want you to stare the DB. Like, nobody's, nobody's getting fooled by this. All your body is going is going is leaning this way, right? Your whole body is. <laughs> All you guys are laughing over this. <laughs> Hold on, let me. I'll give you guys a second. I gotta work on my comedic timing on this shit. Anyway, so watch, Graham. So this is a good lesson for all you guys thinking this fancy shit works. When your whole body is leaning here, your head going that way don't help, right? Versus a good DB, a, a good DB. He's he's looking at the body lean. A good DB, he's breaking on your body lean, not your head. Right. What when what happens? Right. You end up you end up because your head is out of order. Your your arm comes up. You're you're reaching a little bit with this break step. Don't give me the head. Stare the DB right through his skull. And pause on that statement. I know I know somebody's I know somebody's dying to say it. <laughs> All right, Graham. Look at his eyes. Watch their eyes staring right through me. Some of, them, some of them are reaching. Some of their breakpoints differ, but just watch their eyes. Stand through me, stand through me to the last second. This is what I want. Stand through me, stand through me to the last second. Stand through me, stand through me, eyes through me. Look a man in his eyes before you kill him. All right, so that's what I want on this, on this, no, no, uh, no eyes. But then, like, don't reach and don't lean early. Just stay square, stay square to the last second, okay? And you guys understand what I mean by don't reach? If you guys don't understand that, please let me know. Because I've had some questions. People trying to tell me I don't know what it means when I say don't reach. I would get rid of the cone, too, so you can keep your eyes up. Just trust your feet. Okay? So it's your second outside or second inside. So first of all, first of all, all right, this is all fucked up, Graham. All right. So listen, you're speed cutting this way, right, to your, to your right. So that means the ball is in here to your left. So your left foot should be up. All right, so first of all, Graham, put your left foot up, all right? Take this cone away. Put your left foot up. Take this cone away and go second inside speed cut, right? Second inside speed cut. So watch. Juwan's inside foot is up. I don't know what we're talking about here. Juwan's inside foot is up. One speed cut. This is a real good example, okay? So inside foot, second inside. See how he's not leaning? See how his body is pretty straight? See how he is not leaning, not leaning, not leaning? See how he's still about to break? He's not really leaning. That's what we want. It's that body language that gives it away. Eyes straight. And then look, he's not really reaching. What I mean by reaching is see how his knee is still bent? He's not overextending. He's just putting that down right in front of him, the same way he always would. Body language, right? That's sudden body language. That's what I mean when I say sudden body language. Is there anything to this point that's telling you he's breaking until he starts to break? There's nothing, right? Everything is selling vertical, his eyes, his body, everything's square, and then I break away suddenly. Okay, look at the difference between him and for everybody. See how you're starting to lean a little early and see how you're starting to reaching outside your framework? It's a little thing that you can fix. Little, 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 but don't see how already I know you're breaking right there. See how you start to lean right there? You start to kind of bend inside, like get rid of the cone, second inside speed cut with your inside foot up. He'll be much better. All right. Don't twist side to side. This isn't bad. It's not bad. I'm not going to overcoach you in the duck walk. Just don't twist. Keep pushing off. Don't jump. Don't kind of like jab for it. Just fucking side to side, side to side, side to side. That's good. Just keep get, making it feel natural. I'm going to coach you up on it as we go. Today is not the day for that. It looks, it looks fine, fine enough. Some things don't need to be coached all the time. Good. I like that. See, this is a good example of not reaching. That's right down underneath you. All right? Everyone see this is what I mean. Right down underneath you. That's fucking money right there. Don't reach. All 
So stay low. See how, see how high you are? Everything's very high. See how the minute you pop up right there? Sorry. The minute you pop up right there, stay low. Lower. And now watch. Because look how high. Like, see how high, how straight up you are? Like, I need your chest over your toes a little bit. Because if you see this, right, your chest is not aligned with your, your foot. So you're not getting any power out of this. I need, I need more alignment here. I need, I need less, like, I need more alignment there. I don't want, I don't want things outside my framework as much. Cause see how you never really push off the step and you're already working away from it. Yeah, it's, it's really not bad, Graham. You just got to like, like a little more like chest over my toes and just commit to this step before you work away from it and just run, run, just run out of this. Just run, run, run. Don't reach for it. Don't exaggerate it. Not bad. 950 already. God damn, yo. Time flies. All right. We just saw this one. Again, if I don't get to you, I'll email you. Yeah, really not bad for the first time. <laughs> it's wet as a bitch. I love this dedication. All right, you're getting a little wide. Okay, I like your rhythm. I like how you're committing to it. Just don't get so wide. Okay, get that foot. So push off your instep. Good, good hip shift, right? I see that hip shift. But now get that foot down right there. Right there, so you can come right back off of it. Not out there. All right, so it's not so wide. Just snap that foot down and back, okay? Bomb, bomb. Bomb, bomb. Just not so wide right there. All right, not bad, Graham. Not bad at all, bro. I like I like what you're doing, bro. You're working hard. You're doing shit right. You're going to be all right. Last one for Graham, and then we're moving on. Nope. Nope. What's the first thing you do wrong? What's the first thing you do wrong? Never that. Rarely. We very rarely ever want to pop right up. Okay? Low to lower. Low to lower. Low to lower. Stay low. Uh, what should we do with our arms here? Great question from my guy, Booby Miles. Hey, yo, by the way, Booby Miles, Bobby, uh, you got the eval I sent you? All right, yeah, his arms are fine. Like, your arms should match your feet. So, like, if you want your feet to be tight, like, your arms are getting a little wide. See how light, wide this arm is? Like, that's kind of getting your feet be wide. So, like, your arms will match your feet naturally. So if your if your uh, arms are tighter, your feet will be tighter as well. Okay. Everyone. So that's a great question. That's a really good point. That I don't like to overcoach your arms. I think you make too much of it. A lot of people make too much of it. But try and keep these arms a little tighter, protecting your chest. Remember, you guys are crossing someone over, right? So anytime I'm crossing someone over, a DB can shoot his hands at my chest. So kind of have them naturally moving near your chest, so they're, it's protected. Good question, Bobby. All right, and again, last thing we'll do here for Graham, don't pop straight up. Low to lower. We don't want that. We don't want that. Stay low. You're more threatening. Nothing good athletic happens here. All you've done is take away all your athletic power right here, right? Because for you to do anything athletic from here, you got to get back down, right? Like, if you to, for you to do anything athletic here, you got to get back down. So now you're just wasting time. See, see, and, like, you don't even really ever get low enough. Like, you don't really sell anything with your hips. See, your hips don't go anywhere. Watch your hips. They stay right there. If there was a big fucking pole sticking out from your crotch right here, right, it would never move. And again, pause. But it would never move because your hips don't go anywhere. This is very important. Here, your hips don't move. DBs, they, they don't. This leg shit doesn't get them. It's hips, right? So you gotta be lower, and you gotta push off your insteps the same way you're doing here. Like you're way lower here than you are right there. It's gotta translate. See how low you are? Like much lower anyway. But in general, your pads gotta be lower in everything you do. But that's much lower than you were there. All right, a good example of that release is we can watch a few of them, but this is the best one that I love, Van Jefferson. See how he's getting lower? See how his pads are getting lower? Lower, right? So just take one step, stay low. One, two, get out. But they're getting lower. And Graham, it's, it's like... Don't worry. Don't think anyone's judging you, just so you know. Your first time, you're doing great for your first time with a lot of this shit. All right? So, again, watch him. Lower. Getting lower. Right? He's attacking that shit. Sinking his hips and crossing over. Sinking his hips and crossing over. All right? So, just get lower. Two good examples. I got to move on. Uh, we're going to go another 10 minutes. Actually, yeah, we started at 9.10, right? So, we got 15 minutes. Uh, James Thematos, you still on, my guy. Let me check. James is still on. I got James uh, Stamatos, Stamatos. Sorry if I'm fucking that up, butchering that. Joseph Young, Nikolai, Nolan, Ryan, Steven. I'm going to try and get to all you guys. All right, James, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
James, you look pretty good recently, bro. I like what you've been doing. So I think you're reaching a bit too much. I want to slam that. Like, like you're, 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 it's just taking you a lot to gather on this. See, see this? See how you're – like, I don't, want to, I don't want to leap for it. See, this is, a lot of you guys, is your biggest problem. I should not be leaving the ground throwing my body at this this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to slam down. You're, you're, this is the jump man symbol. You're, you're jumping out. I want to slam down. So just think about that mentally, right? It gets, wor it gets more – but even, even there, right? You're still kind of – I want to slam down. Down. Down, not out, right? Similar problem to Ryan. Okay, you see this? And we saw the Richie James clips, James. So you kind of know what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? But not not out so much. And I don't, I don't love how this arm, so like your arm is shooting up. I'd, I'd like it to help slam you down as well, right? Your arms should match your feet. So again, right? Let's watch this. That's actually better. That's that's not bad. See how your head's already coming out of it? See your head's already starting to turn? You haven't even finished your trigger step, and your head is turning out of it. Keep those arms tighter. Like, I don't love that. It, it, it's on you to fix. I don't really have a good drill for it. You can keep a towel underneath your armpit. That's a good one. Match your feet with a towel underneath your armpit. I don't love this arm shit that you're doing there, but that's not terrible. You're still kind of leaving your ground, your your feet for it. Just give me more hips. Like bring your chest to your knee, and you're gonna really snap down on this shit. Like that's not bad, and the turn's not bad. But now see how wide that is outside your framework. Get that right down underneath you. I don't want that. See where your knee is. That's where your everything should be tighter. All right, right down underneath you. Hopefully that makes sense, James. Let me know if it doesn't. And I, I'm flying. I'm not showing you examples because Ryan had the same exact problem. So I'm hoping that you saw uh, the examples of Richie James and Juwan. So everyone see why this fucks you up when you reach so much. So when you reach like this, right now, James has to take all this energy and time. Like he's left the ground. He's he's uh, he, he he's you're not stopping yourself. You're you're throwing yourself. Right. Think about this. Once you leave the ground, you're not stopping yourself. You're actually throwing your momentum. So it's so it's harder to stop. Right, I want to slam down right here. Throw that, throw that foot in the ground, not out anymore. Slam down, okay. And now, see, watch how how much energy it takes him to coil up and gather himself. Right, just off this one step. So because of that, you can't slam your second foot in the ground. You're just barely even getting it down. Like your body's getting ahead of itself, rather than slam down, down, down. Like watch, the, like the best example is 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 Jawan in this in this drill we do. Right? Watch him slam down. Watch where he's directing his force. Down. Watch how he's directing his force. Down. You can see it in his body language. Everything about him is down. Everything is down. Not out. Down. Down. You got me, guys? Down. So, and I would also suggest doing that drill more. Like, that's another thing I haven't seen. I haven't seen a ton of you fucking guys doing that drill. The, the, the false accelerated progression. I suggest you do them in order. Whenever you decide to do the weekly maintenance drills, it's a progression. Start with the false accelerated progression. When I, when I run my training sessions, guys, he doesn't reach very much at all, Richie. I'll show you. Andrew. When I run my training sessions, right, I think of it in part, part, whole. Let me, let me pull something up for you. Why do super drills in training? Workout log. All right. So let's, let's pull up a workout real quick. That's a good one. You know what? All right. I'm going to show you guys some never-before-seen shit. Hopefully, this fucking pulls up. And if it does, it'll be cool. And then I'll have to get back to everybody via email. All right. While this opens. Okay, how much does Richie reach on this? Like, hasn't quite left the ground. See the difference? See how he's not throwing himself? He's staying low to the ground. as Patrick coming lower? Like, he's still, you know, he's still extending. But the difference is where he's directing his force. He's not, he's, he's like snapping down over that. Instead of push. he's not jumping and leaping for that. He's coming down over top of himself. Okay. Uh, James, what do you mean you set the pulse? Sorry. Oh, you, you have one here? So anyway. See how you're leaping there? See the difference between you and Richie? He was going right from here, and he's coming. he was coming down right there. You're still extending and reaching. Okay. 
Uh, let me just get to this false accelerate. You were saying, oh, you sent this progression. Okay, great. Sorry, I, I didn't watch them in order. So yeah, you're spot on. You're spot on. This should be first. So look, look at your foot. That's great. That's how it should be. See, you're not leaping. You're not, you're not, that's it. See, you're not, like, now this has got to match up when, you're, when you add some momentum to it. But tighten the second step. Get that second step down right now. Slam that set, set second step in the ground more urgently, right? Not all the way in front of you like this. Look how long you're training your body to gather on this trigger step. See how you're conditioning your body to hang on this thing? We want to get in and out of this bitch, boy. Get in and out of this shit, right? See how you're like, and then, and then yeah, see this? I can see that like, we can see how this drill is causing all the problems. So look at this. Look, look what you do. We're going to fucking solve everything right here. Everyone fucking watches. This is important. So you're conditioning yourself to really gather on this foot and you're, you're elongating this process too much. You need to get the second foot slammed in the ground as soon as possible. You're conditioning your body to really roll over this instead of stopping yourself and you're still not stopped, right? You're still not even. So again, right? More violent slam that second foot in the ground because now look what happens. So now you don't get as much stop. You don't get as much trigger on this trigger step, but now look, you, you, you're leaving the ground again. You're not slamming that second foot in the ground. You're gliding. All your, your feet have left the ground. You know what I'm saying? So you've got no ability to stop yourself. You've got to slam this foot in the ground. Now, instead, you're barely getting anything out of that step, that second step. So now this is what's killing you, right? You're not getting any transition out of this because you're so far outside your framework and you and you got to reach for that. Again, watch Jawan. Right, watch him when he does this. Watch him get a second that second foot in the ground right away. Boom, 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 boom. Get that second foot in the ground right away. Boom, 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 and I'm out. Everyone see this? Boom, 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 and I'm out. Second foot in the ground right away. As opposed to this, we just fucking solved your whole problem. As opposed to elongating that, snap down, get that second foot in the ground, stop myself. All right, hopefully that helps. Uh, let me let me talk to you guys. We only have eight more minutes. This is more valuable than than the film stuff. So I got Joseph Young, Nikolai Preston, Ryan Gonzalez, Stephen Lewis, Jappa. I am going to and and uh, Nuno. I will uh, email all of you guys in the next forty eight hours. Okay. Let me let me show you guys a workout real quick. Okay. And then I, uh, this is a uh, this is a workout with Juwan. It's a good trigger step there. I'm, I'm, I want to kind of show you guys how I structure my workouts into part, part, whole. Okay. So let's, let's, let's start with this. And I don't even really remember what came first. What came first, the chicken or the egg? I believe this came first. I thought we jogged this shit out. Man, give me one sec. Stance and start. Sorry, guys. Duck walk. We didn't do these sprints and shit? I guess not. Yeah, here we go. Look, we're jogging. All right, so the first thing we do is this, right? Sorry. So this is just building up, right? So the first thing we do is we jogged, and then we snapped down on command, right? So we're jogging, 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 boom. Working on that false accelerator. Watch Duan's hips. Watch, watch him snap down, right, over himself, right? So we'll start with this. We're jogging in place and then, and then kind of snapping down, right? Here's a drill I haven't introduced to you guys. Feel free to take it. Real good trigger step drill, kind of more on the move. All right, then we go to it, and then we start to sprint and, and, and learn how to snap down, All right? So we're building up. Then I get you just running full speed, run, 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 trigger and stop myself, right? Run, 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 trigger, stop myself. Really working on, on, on snapping down, getting those hips down to the ground, violent feet, right? So we build up to that. Then once we've done the jogging and the build up and all that shit, right, then we go here. Now we're in a, now we're in a closed space. Okay, now we're in a more confined environment. And now let's really work on the details, building up to this, right? So part, part, whole. First was jogging in place. Then it was sprinting and stopping. Now let's get technical, right? We've warmed our body up, warmed our hits up. Now let's get technical, really confined space, 
snap one, two. All right, we'll see how powerful these guys are. Okay, so then we went to the back pedal. You can see here, right? Back pedal, false accelerate. We went, we went three reps each side or whatever the fuck that was. Right, then we went from there. Then we went to the trigger buildup, okay, which is just this jogging in line. Right, so you're going to build up to it now a little bit more. Snap down. Right, now we're building a little bit more momentum. Again, working part, part, whole. Sorry. Building a little bit more momentum now. Now you're, 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 you're hitting this a little faster, hitting a little harder, okay, building it up. And now we're going you know, to we're gonna snap down twice. Warm our hips up. Now he's going to go run this bitch. Now he's going to go fucking run. Building it up again. Look, now he's going to – now we're getting into the real shit. Now he's going. He's going. He's running this shit. A little abbreviated curl route, but you're starting to build up, right? I don't just go right into the curl routes, okay? Then, what, we got trigger build up, trigger build up, and that was it. Then we went right into fucking routes on air. All right, and now, now we've warmed our body up. I've conditioned my hips to sink. I've conditioned my feet to be violent, right? I've trained – I've primed my body – for what it needs to run a good comeback. I'm not just running comebacks. Like part of training is working on the details, is building the muscle memory. So I've I've built the muscle memory in the right direction, in the, in the right areas that, with the right focus. Now I'm ready to go run a fucking comeback. Right? Yeah. Crawl, walk, 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 run. Exactly. Right. So now we're ready. So it's it's breaking it down. It's getting my body. So so let's just go through the order again one more time. Right. That jogging progression, then the back pedal drill. Then the trigger build up, and then and then the comeback, right? So it's it's first like same with the false accelerate progression in space. It's getting my hips activated, getting my body activated, getting myself warmed up the way I need to. Then let's break down the details in a confined space. Back pedal drill, trigger build up drill. Okay, now I've got my body activated, my mind is in the right place. I've coached some of the details. All right, now let me take whatever foundation I just built and then carry that over to the real route. That's how you get better. Just coming out and running routes on air, like sure, maybe you'll get better. But like you're, you, you that, that's not how you train. You know what I'm saying? That's how I train, guys. It's it's part part whole. And then if Jawan was fucking up on something, we're not gonna leave a drill till I feel good about it. Like you, it's okay if you guys just do one of these things all day. You got me? Like like yeah, that's okay. Like just this is a, this is a process. Uh, so hopefully that made sense to you guys. Um. Um. Hit me. I'm, I got another two minutes. So if you got questions about that, you know that's something to do that progression i've been going through so during this quarantine i've been going through all my old film every training session we've ever had and i've been i've been taking the reps because a lot of it was just organized by date like you guys can see this right so this is a new project i'm on so this is all organized by date juan rehab sanu kettlebell carl like I, these are all my nfl guys right and I, I don't necessarily know what's in like but so now now i started to go in and it used to just be this and vid whatever and i'm starting to label them I'm starting to label them all by what they are. So now I can pull out these examples and, and, and use them with you guys. So one of the drills, since doing that, I've been learning some, some new drills that, uh, not learning, but remembering drills that we don't do anymore. I don't do as much. I forget about or whatever. Uh, and the, that jogging one and the sprint progression is one. So I'm going to start introducing that to you guys a ton. Um, that's really all I got. Uh, so again, the guys I mentioned, okay, let me just go over in case you weren't listening before. Uh, Joseph Young. Nikolai Preston, Nolan, Ryan Gonzalez, Stephen Lewis, um, and then T Murph. I'm gonna get you as well, uh, um, Murph. We can we can Facetime if you want. Usually with the hundred dollar members, uh, we can do like a Facetime once every, you know, once once in a while, every two weeks or so. Um, but if not Facetime, um, I'll just I'll just get back to our email for right now. Uh, is it worth worth it to invest in some workout equipment because we are quarantined? Uh, I mean, what do you mean by workout equipment? Like, I would say probably not. I think we're on the tail end of this. I think we got, you know, two, three more months. And then, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's up to you, bro. Like, I don't know what your financial situation's like. I don't know. Like, if you got the money, spend it. But if you're if you're not really well off, uh, I would say that using, what, using the resources you have will probably be fine. Um, but it depends what you mean by workout equipment. Uh, what's his face? Herschel Walker, who's one of the greatest football players who ever touched the football in the history of the game, top five college football player of all time. He used to chase trains and do push-ups. You guys ever heard that 40 for 40? Or 30 for 30? 40 for 40. Think about the 40-40 club. Y'all ever been to the 40-40 club? Y'all probably too young. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so so Tyler Lloyd, should we add the other drills such as the ones you just showed us and, and and add them in in addition to the weekly maintenance drills. Like yes, so like the weekly maintenance drills, 
Now, you guys understand, I couldn't throw every drill. If I gave you 12 drills to do for one thing, you'd all be confused. Like weekly maintenance was the foundation. I gave you three drills because they were simple. They got the job done. They served their purpose, but, but, it, but it kept you focused, right? It kept you like, like I didn't want you to be thinking about uh, all these different drills you could do. I, I wanted to just give you three foundational drills. You can now add on to that as much as you want. Now is just your game. Like, like, take it. You see a drill you like that, that if you see a drill you like that I didn't even show you to do, but that you feel like accomplishes a false accelerator, accomplishes whatever you're working on, go take it and go do it. Like, go try shit. So, like, yeah, build around that foundation of the false accelerator progression, the backpedal drill, and then the, the arrow drill, right? It's a really great core. But now you add the jogging progression, the sprint progression, the, 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 the figure eight drill I talked about, right? Like, there's a million other drills. Start to add to it and, and build around it and – I don't need you to do the same three drills only for the rest of your life. Uh, Nolan said, how long are the training sessions with the pros? It largely depends. Generally an hour. Generally it's, it's a very, well, generally an hour and a half between warming up and ball drills. It's a very focused hour straight of work. We get in, we get out. Uh, some guys, bro, like when I'm with Juwan, like our biggest problem and me as his trainer being responsible for his body is that we could both just stay out there forever. We're both football junkies. We both love the work. We both love feeling like we're getting better. My workouts with the high school college guys who need to condition and need to learn how to be fucking tough and just need so much work. The work with my high school college guys, that those, those are usually three-hour sessions. But we have 10, 12, 15, 20 guys in a session, so it takes a lot longer to get your, to get your work. When I'm one-on-one -on -one with NFL guys or in groups no bigger than three or four, you know, we're there for an hour to two hours, but it's shorter than you would think because we're very focused. Like the biggest difference between my NFL guys and the other guys is how fucking focused we are. Like it's, it's fucking work. Like we're, we showed up to work and now it's time to work. Leave me the fuck alone. Whereas like, you know, high school, I, and I like to be loose and I like to keep guys' minds loose so they don't get in their head. But I start to joke around with, like I joke around during sessions on purpose because I want you to be loose and I want you just to be playing. I don't want you to be overthinking, right? So I will track some jokes and shit. But high school kids will take it and run with it and make everything goofy now. Whereas an NFL guy, we can joke about some girl or joke about some whatever and then go back to work. It's fucking focused. So we get our shit done in and out. And also, like, NFL guys, they got to be more concerned with their body. Like, a pulled hamstring can cost them millions of dollars. Uh, in college, high school, like, a pulled hamstring, you know, sucks. But you have so much growth. We have to kind of risk overworking at times when you're younger to...